Je m'appelle Casey. J'habite en Rennes. Je... <laughs> J'adore la... Oh, I forget how to say food. <laughs> My journey to become a travel blogger was born just out of the fact that I love travel. <laughs> In 2013, that's when I made a decision that I wanted to travel around the world. But that one year turned into two years, three years. It became a full lifestyle. I'm finally a digital nomad. I'm going to own that title now. My name is Casey Urban. I'm 31 years old. I'm from New Jersey, but I currently live in Rennes, France, and I live on $53 a day here. Before moving to Rennes, I had no idea where it was. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it, but if you're curious, Rennes is in Brittany, France, which is a region. It's in the Northwest, kind of close to England. When I was little, I always was that person who excelled at everything that I did. In school, I had straight A's the entire time. I had leadership positions. So I kind of was always on this mind track that I want to get a really high paying job and kind of follow what my parents did. They worked in New York City, worked on Wall Street, and I had my first internship at 16 at Morgan Stanley. So I just always assumed that I was going to be that Wall Street girl. I made a plan that I would take a one year career break. So I saved up money for two years. I was saving $1,000 a month with the goal of having $27,000 to travel around the world for one year. After three or four years of constant traveling around the world, I knew I was missing something to work on. Like I wanna use my brain somehow. And that's when I decided to turn my travel blog from a hobby into more of a business and I, made my first investment, which was a $500 blogging course. And then once I finally invested money in myself, that's how I knew I was gonna take blogging seriously. The reason I have moved to Rennes, France is because I follow my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, that's the really nice thing about being a travel blogger. I have the flexibility to just pick up and relocate to a new place. Living in France is cheaper than living in New York City. For me, it's kind of funny because since I've been traveling since 2015, I've really been living on a budget around $10,000 per year. So France is considered expensive for me. Initially, I was scared to move to France because of the money issues, but once I set out my budget, I know I could spend $1,600 a month and I can definitely live a comfortable life here. Welcome to my new home. As a travel blogger, there's different ways to make income. One of my main ways is through brand collaborations, and they're usually paying me through either bank transfer or my PayPal business account. If I do a brand collaboration, it could be anywhere from $300 to $2,000, depending on how much work and editing I need to do. Other streams of income are group trips where I host people, they follow the fro somewhere. So when I host these trips, I'll get a commission for organizing it. I spend about $323 on travel per month and about $150 on entertainment like parties and etc. For example, I was just in Paris this past weekend and I went to a concert. The ticket costs $55 and drinks at the bar costs around $10 for a beer. My budget for eating out and groceries run about $609 per month. Which is nice because I split my groceries with my boyfriend, so that probably keeps that cost a little bit lower. My phone plan, I actually still use my US number. Hey, Dad, Hi. how are you? I'm okay. And that's because as a travel blogger, I still am constantly traveling. Even though my home base is France, since I'm gonna be in different countries throughout the year. It's much easier just to stick to my US phone plan, which I love. I use Google Fee. I highly recommend it for any digital nomads because you get unlimited internet access, unlimited data. 
I'm renting a room with my boyfriend and we pay 700 euros, whereas in Budapest, we were only spending around 600 euros for a full apartment with no roommates in the center of the city. Ren is a big student city. They have 60,000 students here. So in September, everyone's coming in and they're all looking for apartments. So it's quite difficult to find. The way I found a place was I went on Airbnb, saw their apartment, which we are in now. And yeah, I just asked if it was okay to rent long-term. So I'm uninsured right now. I most likely will go with Safety Wing, which is a nomad insurance. And that's because I still do travel quite a bit. With Safety Wing, it's $40 per month and it will cover me while I'm in France. I am going to apply for the long stay visa in France. With this visa, there is a financial requirement. So I need to have 65 euros per day for 365 days. There's a lot of <laughs> documents I'm, I'm going to need to show, which includes scanned copies of passports, a birth certificate, statement letters for your purpose of stay, a scanned copy of a medical insurance card, accommodation, either Airbnb booked or a letter from a host where you're going to stay, three months of your most recent checking account, three months of your most recent savings account, credit card statements proving your credit limit, and the visa cost 100 euros. One thing I like about Ren is it has a smaller city feel, like I don't feel overwhelmed. So a typical day, I'll wake up, grab a tea, I'll either have breakfast in my apartment or maybe I'll take my bike and try and do some work on my laptop in a cafe. In the afternoon, hopefully I'm, I'm doing some work. That's what I should be doing. Sending emails to clients, creating a pitch deck, working on a group trip that I have because I'm running group trips to Antarctica and Uganda. There's like a million things I always have to do. So it's figuring out what to prioritize for that day. And then by the evening, it's really important for my boyfriend and I to share a meal together. So I'm usually the one that cooks, he's usually the one that cleans. Uh, so I'll cook a meal in the evening. I studied French for seven years growing up, but my French is minimal because I am that stereotypical American that only knows English. One of the things that I struggle the most about living in France is that French people work on their own hours. Stores are only open for like a couple hours. They could be open from 11 to two and then like seven to 10. So I think I'm just trying to get used to the time schedules. It's very different from American standards. Now that I've been out of the US for six years, I don't really see myself living there again or even raising a family. I don't think I will stay in France, but you never know. I never thought I would live in France in the first place. I might end up really loving my time here. I'm open, like just give me a globe, I'll spin it. And I'm like, okay, I'll live there. I, I'm down for random adventures like that.